All right, now that we're back at the house, I wanted to do a quick follow-up of the shots that I got and actually put a little bit of information about the T7 versus the 7D7D on the screen. Uh, so here's a nice little shot of uh, Orion. And this one is going to be the... 300 millimeter, the 75 to 300 uh, that comes in the T7 kit. You can see that it actually does have a little bit more reach than the actual uh, the the 55 to 250. Uh, that's that's actually very nice. However, when we zoom in to 100 percent. This is the 55 to 250. We can see that all the stars, while they are trailing, they do have a nice, clean, sharp presentation to them. When we go to the 300 millimeter, the 75 to 300, those stars are very blurry. They are not sharp, and they do have a lot of just bloated, uh, just really unusable characteristics that would ruin your shot. So I could, I could definitely recommend going with a 55 to 250 over the 75 to 300 if you're going to get into Astro. Uh, looking at the actual specifications. For the camera bodies, the T7, like I said, is going to be a very low end. It's actually the, in, the lowest entry mirror, mirrored camera from Canon that you can get in their baseline kit. Uh, the 77D is a little bit of a knockdown 80D, and the 80D for the longest time was the uh, top of the line in the APS-C sensor class for Canon when it came to... Uh, photography and uh, videography. So let's scroll down and see what we have as far as information about reasons to choose the T7. Uh, it is a lighter camera and it does show that it has a higher capability of gathering light. Uh, that's just part of the uh, the characteristics of how they gauge that. I've never actually gone by low light ISO uh, and had any sort of real world measurable difference besides that's not really what I'm going for here uh, image quality sensor versus sensor that's not really that's not really the uh, argument in this case what is the argument are all the nice little things that you need to make sure that you're having a good time and that you're not frustrating yourself needlessly with trying to get astrophotography shots Again, the main one being that top listed item there is going to be the fully articulated LCD screen. Uh, it is also touch enabled, so you can focus and use the menu through the touch screen. Uh, viewfinder magnification doesn't really matter, but you do have a higher ISO for, I would use it for daytime shooting. Um, if you're working with wildlife or something of that nature, maybe sports, if you're trying to take picture pictures of your kids uh, while they're playing football or soccer or whatever they play. The other major enhancement, uh, but going from from the T7 to the 77D, is going to be 45 autofocus points. And trust me, this is a far bigger deal than most beginners understand. Uh, doesn't really come into play during astrophotography, but for daytime, when you're just doing family photos or vacation photos, or if you want to get into a little bit of amateur photography, uh, it, even prosumer photography for portraits or something that you might get just uh, a couple bucks here and there. Nothing, nothing professional, but starting to get into photography as a uh, a possible pursuit, then those forty five autofocus points are going to be much, much better. Uh, the LCD screen is listed at uh, uh, just over a thousand dots versus just under a thousand dots. It's a little bit nice. It doesn't really matter. Nobody cares if your back 
the back of the camera is in HD. It doesn't matter. Uh, the continuous shooting. The continuous shooting speed is double on the 7070, and that tells me that it's got better processing and better read and write, or sorry, better write data for the for the cards. So you're going to be able to do higher sustained data transfer, and that is good. The microphone port is also a big deal if you want to do any sort of vlogging. You have to have a microphone port, period. You cannot use the on-camera microphones. They're just, they're they're good for just kind of palling around, hanging out with the family, taking some, taking some quick video, but you do not want to use it if you're going to do anything that's even remotely close to a production. The battery life is a little bit longer on the 7070, which is nice. Uh, the time-lapse recording is actually kind of a handy feature. I've never used it myself, but I can imagine wanting to use it if I ever make it out onto a vacation. Flash, flash coverage, don't really care about that. I'm not a flash user myself. I mostly shoot uh, landscapes and astro. Color depth, again, a little bit higher on the 7070, which is important, as is the dynamic range. That is a big deal. Uh, if you don't know what dynamic range is, uh, that's... There's tons of YouTube videos. Uh, basically means the the data between your white point and your black point. Uh, you're going to have a, more data in that 13.3 rather than in your 11.9. You also have a top LCD screen on the 7070, which is very useful. I use it quite a bit on my 60 Mark II. Uh, you get an extra stop of uh, auto exposure bracketing. You do have... Bluetooth on the 7070, which is great, and you get a one F8 center point autofocus, which is handy. That's very, very handy. So if you're shooting in low light and you're trying to get a good shot of a flying bird or something running across the street, it doesn't matter what it is. Uh, if you If you do have darkness, or if you do have to go all the way to F8 to get it, uh, you, you can, you can, uh, with the seven, with the T7, you, you're not going to get that shot. Uh, digital stabilization for the 7070, which is nice. It does crop in a bit, I would assume. I haven't tested it. Don't have either of these cameras in front of me. So I, I would assume it has a small crop factor, but you do actually can't. You, you can actually do some digital stabilization with the 77D, where the T7 you cannot, and it does support the high-speed cards for read-write on the uh, 77D, where T7 still uses the slower cards, and it's going to mean that you have, you're not going to shoot as fast, your burst rate is going to be slow, you're not going to be able to record as higher resolution video with, with more intense bit rate. So common strengths, they both have wireless, both have a built-in flash, external hot shoe, of course, uh, optical viewfinder, yes. They both shoot in RAW, face detection, yes. Both are 24 megapixel uh, LCD screen, or both high resolution, AE bracketing, that's nice. Both of them have it. Uh, near field communication for connecting to your smartphone, yes. Smartphone remote, yes, for both. Webcam functionality, which is nice, both have it. And weaknesses, in-body stabilization. Canon just doesn't do that for their for their uh, mirrored cameras. Uh, environmental environmental sealing, not not really a thing for these two. They're not professional grade. Uh, although I would argue that the seventy seventy can can be used in a professional capacity. I've seen wedding photographers use these as uh, backup devices uh, rather than spending all the money for the ADD. They just get the seventy seventy and. They're, like I said, you're 85% of the way to the ADD. Uh, that's really the major things. But you can see right here just the lists of uh, here's the advantages of the 77D over the T7 and the T7 over the 77D. The advantages of the T7 are it's lighter and less expensive. And then on the left side, again, you have that tilt sold screen, touchscreen, built-in Bluetooth, on sensor phase detect, you can, yeah, you get you get a lot more out of the 7070. Uh, ignore the telephoto 
uh, more telephoto resets on the on the uh, that's on the uh, the kit lens that comes with it. Don't really care in this particular scenario. Uh, longer battery life. It's still the same list of everything that you you just saw. So heading over to here. This is the breakout of what is currently the price structure for the T7 kit. It comes in at 549 uh, and you get the two lens kit with the T7 body, which is, again, that's your entry level kit. You get the, the wide angle 18 to 55 with the 75 to 300 for your telephoto and the really baseline T7 body for $150. $150. If you go to MPB and you start looking at the used kit and it, the used pieces for 77D and an 18 to the same 18 to 55 IS with the 55 to 250 IS, uh, you'll get <laughs> you'll see that it's 183 dollars difference. You are spending more on the 77D, however, you're getting a much superior body. You're not going to have to be uh, stooping down or bending or twisting or supporting yourself at odd angles to, to, to get the shots that you need. You're also going to have the sensor cleaning, which is, in my opinion, a non-negotiable. If you're going to buy a body, it has to have sensor cleaning. If you don't have sensor cleaning, that means you got to buy, and that means you got to bring along the little brushes and the little uh, rocket pumps so you can blow dust out of your camera while you're out in the middle of a out in the middle of an environment that's not well controlled uh, I know I've shot in dust storms I've shot in all kinds of crazy places so uh, not having a sensor cleaning mechanism is just not going to work for me period uh, the 7070 has the tilt screen it has the the, the sensor cleaning function that when you turn it on and off, it it's it cleans automatically. So that is again imperative. Those two things right there will make or break your experience. And the nice thing about the fifty five to two fifty, like I said, it is not quite as far of a reach, but those optics on the three hundred, the seventy five to three hundred, are they, they're an older optic. They don't define the stars nearly as well as the 55 to 250. And the 55 to 250 actually has image stabilization. You can do portraits with the 55 to 250 at sunset on, uh, on a crop sensor camera and have incredible bokeh. It's a great lens. So for $183, I would actually recommend going with the the 77D with the 18 to 55 and the 55 to 250 for a, like I said 183 dollars more through MPB or you go through KEH. There's Adorama has uh, a used section. Can't really. I'm just looking at the MPB numbers here. But again, for 183 dollars difference, I would save up and get a far superior body and a much more versatile lens set.